always add data to the string buffer coming from the characters or line by line uh, group of characters uh, coming from the buffered reader which it obtained from the input stream. So the string buffer would be the one to contain everything that we should be passing into the text view of the Android screen. However, before uh, we may be using a string data object before, uh, in between buffered reader and string buffer for the buffered reader to transfer everything to the string buffer. And uh, the string buffer, the contents of the string buffer would be passed into the text view. So uh, just remember this model here and we would be better in a better position to understand everything that uh, we shall be uh, showing you or I shall be showing you once we are inside our Android Studio IDE. Okay, so let's proceed to our Android Studio IDE and let's remember uh, we have first the text file, then number two the input stream, the buffered reader, and the string buffer before we go into the text view. Okay, let's proceed with uh, going into our Android Studio. So I already have here a text file that we shall be using. And the first thing that you do is go into your Android Studio and create a raw folder inside your REST folder. So for you to do that, just right click and then new and go to Android resource directory. Do not go to directory, but click on Android resource directory. If you click that, you have directory name and resource type. Uh, first, change the resource type into raw. Okay, and the directory name uh, already changed it for you into the same value or the same set of characters, which is raw. And then you click OK. Of course, you can change this raw into something else, but uh, you don't really need to do that as long as, but the important thing is the resource type is raw. So just click OK and you now have your raw folder inside the rest folder so if you expand the rest folder instead of just five folders in it you have now five so but you, if you click on raw it's it does not expand because it has nothing in it yet to show so go to your text file and right click copy and then go back to your android studio and right click on raw and click paste and just click OK. And of course, you now have your raw folder. You can expand on it now because it contains a text file. And the text file is here. This is the contents of the text file. Okay. So inside your, I already have my text view inside my layout. But if you go to design, it has nothing on it yet. So let's go to our main activity that Java. And first thing, you create a text view object. So text view, and just name it text view, okay? After you create this object, you, ha you have done this before in previous videos. Maybe not text view, uh, we have done it for the button object. So we're going to do the same for the text view. So uh, our text view object here, you type text and it uh, autocompletes is here helping us just click on it and you now cast it into a text view just like you do it in the bottom and then after the open close parenthesis you type find view by id because we are linking to the id of the text view which is here tb view okay so if you go back to your layout and your text editor you can see that the name of the the id of the text view is t view so it's the one that we are linking in here. So you have now connected your text view object into the ID of the text view inside your XML layout, okay? So after doing that, so the first thing is step one, to create a string buffer object, okay? So string buffer, okay, uh, let's do first the one that is first uh, needed just like what is shown in our uh, model here. 
let's create first an input stream okay so step one is to create input stream object okay so input stream so we just name it input stream equals this meaning this activity class main activity that uh, main activity class this and you use the get resources method here so it's there for uh, because of autocomplete and the get resources method would use the open row resource because we are going into the row folder and pass the name of the row resource which is our sample text file okay as you can see here okay just put an open close parenthesis at the end and then of course if we go back to our model we need to pass everything to the buffered reader so actually you can mix uh you can mix up the declaration of objects but when we code this uh the actual getting of the text file contents we use this model in this sequence okay so we create a buffered reader object okay so buffered reader so let's just use b reader or buffer just let's use the same name so we know what it is okay and then new buffered reader and inside that new buffered reader we pass the input stream object because in our model the buffered reader would get the characters from the input stream okay so new buffered reader okay new input stream reader and your input stream reader is this input stream object okay so input stream so that's it okay <clears throat> now we should uh, be creating our string buffer just to prepare it so this is step number two let's put a comment uh, this comment is really not necessary if you don't want to put it but it just helps us uh, practice the steps so create a buffered reader object that's our number two step and then number three create input stream object uh, we create an input stream object so that it's just to prepare this we, we are not going to use it immediately here so let's just create no this is not an input stream object sorry creates string buffer object we have already created our input stream object here on step one okay so string buffer so string buffer so and then instantiate it Im immediately so new string buffer so just not, do not put anything inside we don't need it to have any parameters so after that <coughs> okay let's just save the key is for us to uh, put everything that's inside this buffered reader into the string buffer but we could only do that if we have a string variable first so let's have a string variable here str data and just put an empty uh, string there okay so after that we use an if statement so this is the reason why i introduce you to control flow statement an if statement is a uh, it's a statement uh, a control flow statement that allows us to execute something inside it if it passed the uh, condition that is being evaluated so let's uh, evaluate a certain condition here if the input stream is not equal to null 
So this explanation point here means not. So not equal to null, then we execute the code inside here. So, but if it's equal to null, then we bypass the code inside here and proceed immediately after the if. So, if input stream is not equal to null, uh, let's create a while loop. While, uh, execute this while loop. While, buffered reader. So, buffer buffered reader would now read the line. Read line read each line coming from the input stream instead of character by character because we use this method read line. If by reading the line and it's not yet null, meaning there is still a line to read, not equal to null, then we execute this code inside here. But you know, it's there's an error because we Android Studio would like us to put this while into a try catch block a try catch block is something that handles errors or exceptions so let's put a try catch block here catch uh, let's handle a, every type of exception because uh, it's this is really just for demo purposes so e that print stack trace it it prints the error so there's no more uh, error uh, red underline here because we have put the try catch block. So don't uh, if you don't understand yet yet why we are putting this try catch block. Uh, uh, just uh, it's okay. Uh, you just need to first understand this while loop. So this while loop here means that while the buffered reader is able to read lines. So we have 10 lines here. Uh, execute the code inside this. But if the buffered reader would see that there's no more line after line 10, then this while loop would exit. Okay, so that's the meaning of that. And for every line that the buffered reader reads, let's pass that to our string variable here. Actually, we can do this inside here or I just need to put additional uh, parentheses here and here okay so this means that we are passing whatever line or line per line text is being read by our buffered reader into the string the string data the string uh, variable here so we have this str data so this means that buffered reader is passing a line per line that it obtains from the input stream into this str data which is a string variable okay and then so we can actually we can put this inside the while but we can immediately assign it here and then after doing that, uh, we need to pass the content of the string variable into our string buffer. Okay, so the string buffer, we have an object string buffer here. So string buffer dot append, uh, we use append because it just adds up to what's already inside the string buffer. Okay, append str data. Okay, so if we run this, uh, do you think it would already show uh, the contents of the sample text file here into our Android screen using a text view? Okay, make a guess. Make a guess now. Uh, Type on the comments if you have uh, what what guess have you made so that uh, we can have some fun here. After, uh, of course, you would know what is the correct answer after this video. But for now, type what you have uh, guessed so that we can see if everyone uh, guessed it correctly. So if your guess is 
the text would already show here then type yes if no if you think no just type no so let's run this code okay nothing showed so those who have guessed no you are correct but those that have said yes don't worry the first time i did this code i thought i thought it's yes and my guess is yes but no it would not show yet because we have not yet uh, put the contents of the string buffer into the text view so you have to add this line of code here text view that set text whatever the content of your string buffer so this would not this would not allow us to see the contents of the text file so let's run the code okay here it is we have line one line two line three line four up to line 10 so we are successful okay but uh, maybe we need some refinement of this because this really do not look good so let's put something here like maybe uh, something that would allow us to uh, put the next line into the next line of the text view screen so maybe slash n slash n is forcing everything into the next line okay let's see what would happen okay that's it so we have successfully uh, shown the contents of the text file into our text view just like how it is done inside the text file okay so i hope you gained a lot from this video as to actually you have covered everything here and if you have not yet fully under, understood uh, this uh, tutorial, I would like you to just look at this model. Okay, uh, I would be allowing you to download this presentation so that you could always look at it. And of course, you can just uh, watch this video and post it so that you can see this model it would allow you to be able to fully understand how this code worked, how we made it work. So thank you for watching this video and I hope you are really excited. We are going to day four of our course and day four is where we would be planning our application. We would be doing a really simple application but would allow you to be able to create simple apps that would allow you to earn in the android play store so see you there